I think a long time ago, I heard that there was no way you could have a base between 0 and 1. And then recently I did an internet search and found that fractional bases may exist, but they involve logarithms and all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, I think there's a pretty darn easy way to do fractional bases, and I'm going to explain it right quick. First off, count by fractions instead of holes. That's half the battle right there. Second, don't count all the way to 1 before moving to the next place value. And that's pretty much it. Call the limit you reach before you jump to the next place value a base, and call the fraction you use to count by a degree or a step or something. I don't care what you call it. We could try an example counting by 1 sixth and jumping to the next place value when we reach 5 sixths but I really don't see the point. It's too boring. I think it's much cooler for us to count by halves and jump to the next place value when we reach 2, even though 2 isn't a fractional base. Why do I think it's cool? Because we get something that looks like this. Everything that has a set of parentheses around it is a single digit. Use of fractional bases makes these fractional digits appear quite often, because when you count by fractions instead of whole numbers, you make fractional digits, unless you're a trickster and a liar. Actually, if you count by one-sixth and jump to the next place value when you reach seven-sixths, that might look pretty cool too. Anyway, by the example shown, we have a base of two in a degree or step of one half. And I came up with a formula five years ago that should convert a number in any base and any degree or step into a more familiar base 10. Keep in mind if you're using fractions as steps or degrees, your conversion may not result in a whole number. Here's the formula. I'm too lazy to check the formula to see if it actually works, so if you find that it's wrong, just go ahead and fix it, will you?